You know, you should go to Windhelm and join the fight to free Skyrim. You've seen the true face of the Empire here today. If anyone will know what the coming of the dragon means, it's Ulfric. See that ruin up there? Bleak Falls Barrow. I never understood how my sister could stand living in the shadow of that place. I guess you get used to it. These are the Guardian Stones, three of the thirteen ancient standing stones that dot Skyrim's landscape. Go ahead, see for yourself. The Mage Stone, Warrior, and Thief. Those stars will guide you to honor and glory. Remember, this is the storm Now ain't this a surprise? <laughs> Do your Glad you decided to come with me. We're almost to Riverwood. Like nobody here knows what happened yet. A dragon. Come on. Gerd was probably working in her What's lumber mill. Is it now, Mother? It was as big as the mountain and black as night. It flew right over the barrel. Dragons now, is it? Please, Mother. If you keep on like this, everyone in town will be killed. Ain't every day we get visitors in Riverwood. The finest weapons and armor.
I know that um, <coughs> Orc is gonna talk to me as soon as I stop dropping here from the Dawn Guard. Gauntlets, boots, <coughs> armor. Until next time. You there. The Dawn Guard is looking for anyone willing to fight against the growing vampire menace. What do you say? Hmm. What's the Dawn Guard? We're vampire hunters. We search out and destroy those blood-sucking scum wherever we find them. Hmm. Well, sorry, I'm not interested. That's what everybody says. Right up until they find their throat being ripped out by a pack of hungry vampires. If you change your mind and decide to join the fight before it's too late, talk to Ezron at Fort Dawnguard, southeast of Riften. Whatever you need. My smear if it's simple and strong, I can purchase. This out, bro. Come find us if you see any Imperial soldiers coming. Oh, Mama. I want to stay and talk with Uncle Rayla. Look at you. Almost a grown man. Won't be long before you'll be joining the fight yourself. That's right. Don't worry, Uncle Rayla. I won't let those soldiers sneak up on you. Now, Rayla, what's going on? You two look pretty well done in. <sighs> I can't remember when I last slept. <sighs> Where to start? Well, the news you heard about Alfric was true. The Imperials ambushed us outside Darkwater Crossing. Like they knew exactly where we'd be. That was... Uh, two days ago now. We stopped in Helgen this morning, and I thought it was all over. Had us lined up to the headsman's block and ready to start chopping. The cowards. They wouldn't dare give Ulfric a fair trial. Treason for fighting for your own people. All of Skyrim would have seen the truth then. But then, out of nowhere, a dragon attacked. You don't mean a real, live... I can hardly believe it myself. And I was there. As strange as it sounds, we'd be dead if not for that dragon. In the confusion, we managed to slip away. Are we really the first to make it to Riverwood? Nobody else has come up the south road today, as far as I know. Good. Maybe we can lay up for a while. I hate to put your family in danger, Gerda, but... Nonsense. You and your friend are welcome to stay here as long as you need to. Let me worry about the Imperials. Any friend of Raylov's is a friend of mine. Here's the key to the house. Stay as long as you like. If there is anything else you need, just let me know. There is something you could do for me. For all of us here. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgruf in Whiterun to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Sister, I knew we could count on you. I ought to get back to work before I missed, but did anyone else escape? Did Ulfric? Don't worry. I'm sure he made it out. It'll take more than a dragon to stop Ulfric's storm cloak. I'll let them into the house and, you know, show them where everything is. Hmm. Help them drink up our mead, you mean? Good luck, brother. I'll see you later. Don't worry about me. I know how to lay low. Railoff. 
I told you my sister would help us out. You really think I should join up with the Stormcloak? Damn right. Just like all true sons of Skyrim should. You should come to Windhelm with me and join the fight to free Skyrim. You've seen the true face of the Empire here today. If anyone will know what the coming of the dragon means, it's Ulfric. Hmm. I'll have to think about it. Yeah, sure, I understand. No need to decide now. But I know that after you think about what you saw today, you'll realize that Skyrim deserves to be free. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. <laughs> Sorry you had to hear that. Yeah, well, I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. Feel free to shop. Did something happen? Uh, yeah, we, we did have a, a bit of a, a break-in. We, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. Hmm. I could help you. You could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, so northeast of town. Again? Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Oh, really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. Uh, no, I. By the eight, fine. But only to the edge of town. The sooner you find the claw, the sooner our lives can get back to normal. Well, what have you got for sale? Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. May come handy. Carrots, you can have mead. to go through town and across the bridge to get to Bleak Falls Barrow. You can see it from here though, the mountain just over the buildings. Those thieves must be mad hiding out there. Those old crypts are filled with nothing but traps, trolls, and who knows what else. I wonder why they only stole Lucan's Golden Claw. I mean, we have plenty of things in the shop that are worth just as much coin. Lucan found the claw about a year after he opened the store. He never quite explained where he got it. He's a tricky one. Hmm. Interesting. This is the bridge out of town. The path up the mountain to the northwest leads to Bleak Falls Barrow. 
I guess I should get back to my brother. He'll throw a fit if I take too long. <laughs> Such a child. Mara bless you for agreeing to help us. So, how much farther do I have to walk? Well, it's a winding road up the mountain just ahead. You'll know you're in the right place once you spot the old watchtower. Once you get to the tower, head north. Bleak Falls Barrow should be just around the corner further up. Thank you. Good luck. Lucan and I will be waiting for you back in the shop. I'm not going to do that tonight. Orgnar. Orgnar, are you listening? Hard not to. The ale is going bad. We need to get a new batch. Did you hear me? Yep, ale's going bad. I guess you don't have potatoes in your ears after all. Just make sure we get a fresh batch in soon. We got rooms and food. Drink, too. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. Need a room? Talk to Delphine. Hmm. Heard any rumors lately? There have been whispers. A boy up in Windhelm, name of Aventus Aretino. Been trying to contact the Dark Brotherhood. Da -da -da. And? Have you seen that shrine of Azura? They say the Dark Elves built it after they fled from Morrowind. Sight to see. Nobody trusts those mages way up north in their college. Gods only know what they do up there. We've got something of a love triangle here in Riverwood. Fandel and Sven, both vying for Camilla's affections. Word is, Ulfric Stormcloak escaped from the Imperials. War's only gonna get worse now. All right then. Oh, there once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding to Whiterun from Old Rorik's stead. You're that visitor been poking around. I'd like to rent the room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. But then he went quiet, did Ragnar the Red, when he met the shield maiden Matilda, Thank you. who said... Oh, you talk and you lie and you drink all our mead. Now I think it's high time that you lie down and bleed. And so then came clashing and slashing of steel as the brave lass Matilda charged in full of zeal. And the brave... Good name Ragnar was boastful no more When his ugly red head rolled around on the floor <sighs> We drink to our youth Good night days come and gone